But let me continue. Let me let me move on. What else did you see, Mr. Duke? I did find some manufactured evidence of another email insinuating that myself and the plaintiff, Mr. Lund, were manufacturing evidence and we were in on some crooked doings. Mm -hmm. This, however, wasn't... Um, Submit evidence. <laughs> Can court please stamp that? The other I denounce, Mr. Duke. Now getting to the credibility yeah. of the accused over here. I have several sworn statements from other people in the office. Could you read them? This one just this morning from a witness. It was addressed to Mr. Lund. You seen was seen taking a bagel out of the football pool bagels this morning. To my knowledge, as with the relevance to this case, it goes to the credibility of the accused. <laughs> You stick with the money. Don't, everybody here takes uh, bagels and, 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 and... Only football pool bagels. To my knowledge, as this says, you seem to never participate. It's actually hearsay. It's hearsay, yeah. Let that evidence be stricken from the record. Okay. How, how many more... Uh, there is some evidence here that everyone has seen at one time. This was from August. Have your bagel back to it. So, <laughs> that's right, Abe. That was the remainder of the bagel. That was the remainder best of the bagel to get away from bagel. this morning. Did, did, but, out of his mouth. But going back to the credibility of, the, of uh, the accused, this is an email even you received, Abe. I found a $1 bill by the entrance door. If you lost it, too bad. I am keeping it. <laughs> this was said to Mr. Have seen him in. Credibility. That goes under the Pioneer's Keepers Law. More credibility concerns with the accused over here. Here's a photograph of the accused in disguise after carjacking myself and a fellow member of the These are serious club allegations. I hope going on a shooting spree. Who took this picture? An innocent bystander. It was found in his camera. He was shot dead. Wait, but you're the one driving the, the drive-by car. This incriminates we yourself and Todd Spinner. We were you have no Let the court see. Todd okay. Spinner. Okay. Oh, Mr. Dukes, you can move along. Todd, what's going on there? The gun is shooting out, which are obviously illegal. Oh, oh, welcome to Afghanistan. Um, He's from Afghanistan, is that illegal now? We have another sworn statement from sales manager Jim Bishop in regards to the character of the defendant. All that I can say is that I found one of my most precious ties missing. In the possession of yeah. I've just seen him in. Found it. He's not saying that was stolen, but he can say it was missing from his collection. Where did this it happened to be on your scene's desk in Ooh. here. Ooh. Like wow. I got a scratch in the car. Remember this. The missing tie. Oh, he's got all things on it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. And finally, someone snapped this picture just the other afternoon down the street in Troy. Seems he was feeling a little guilty <laughs> and looking for sympathy. Uh, uh, okay. Did the jurors uh, say uh, the uh, pictures? Uh, yeah. <laughs> His name is Keith. Uh, I still don't uh, work. Uh, 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 I just want to say, the, the jury... <laughs> I think we have enough now. Okay. I want the defendant Guilty. to... Guilty! Hey, you should have the jury. Oh, I forgot. You should have hear from you. No more average average teacher. Uh, Mr. Alone, judge. Judge. Enough. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Alright, my name is Elmeco Kaplan. And I appreciate your desire to settle this dispute through mediation. Excuse me, judge. He stole the tie back. Evidence. He stole yeah, some yeah, evidence. The tie here. Uh, it was your lawyer who did that, isn't it? He should be. Is that contempt of court? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's let the attorney speak. Continue, attorney. On the morning of Wednesday, October 31st, 2007, a jar of pennies went missing from the scene's desk. Pennies and other coins, mostly pennies. This jar was donated by fellow Global Spec employees to help I got, I got that Danny one. refugee down on his walk. Now I will go into some evidence that I have to try and determine where and when this jar of pennies <coughs> went missing. First, I would like to present Exhibit A. 
This is an email between Yassine Amin and Mark Watkins. Yassine says, do, you have, do any of you have a gas can and a few dollars to spare? I seem to have run out of gas in the parking lot. If not much trouble, I'll need a ride to the gas station as well. Then Mark applies, and he has set up a donation jar at Yassine's desk where all the employees can come and donate pennies to help Yassine's gas problem. Got a signed piece of paper? <laughs> I wrote that letter somewhere. <laughs> Exhibit B is an email between Robert Alund and Steve Subcliffe. Hey Steve, I have another cunning plan to get Yassine's gas money. <laughs> I have a disguise plan. Oh, for that's, that's forged. <laughs> sky Objection. Wait, oh. wait. Not the lawyer. Wait until I'm done. The disguise plan for tomorrow where I should be able to slip by undetect undetected and get away with his pennies. Steve agreed it's a good plan and he will move ahead with the distraction as planned. Exhibit C is from the morning in question, October 31st, 9.46 a.m., right after the jar of pennies went missing. The eagle has landed. Repeat, the eagle has landed, Bob says. Steve replies and says, great job. I don't even think he knows you took it yet. Bob then replies, after must have found this out... This is about pennies, Judge, nothing about eagles. Don't disrupt. <laughs> you, guys using some, eagle? you guys might be using some type of code word or something, we're not sure of, but let that be heard. That should be stricken from evidence. Bob replies, he thinks Here's the it. wire is tapped, and they must cut off communications and destroy all of your evidence. Come on, Louie. <clears throat> I now have a signed document. I will read this document to the court. I, Theodore Martin... Lead Systems Administrator for Global Spec, confirmed that the emails presented as evidence in Exhibit A, B, and C are all legitimate emails that were pulled from the back of the Global Spec Exchange Server, GSHQ XC01, after one Robert Alun and Stephen Subcliffe tried to erase correspondences indicating their guilt. Amen. One contempt of court. Please pass this along to the judge. Okay. Uh, do you have a witness? All right, yeah, one more exhibit. Where is this Martin character? He couldn't be here in person, but I have a signed document. Where's your Jim Bishop character? The signed affidavit with the witness is just as valid in court. I also have Exhibit D. Shows the person in question with a jar of pennies. I got the same picture, Your Honor. The twin names. This is you, isn't it? I would now like to call Robert Alun to the stand. Let me go get him. <laughs> Hammer. Who's going to get him? It's hot in there. Yes, Your Honor, what can I do for you? All right, you are the one who initiated the company trick-or-treating round on October 31st, is this correct? <coughs> You're also the reason that we all brought before here today this court case by charging the plaintiffs with these crimes. This is true. On October 31st, did you come into work wearing a mask to cover your identity? Uh, true. No, no. Uh, answer, answer the question. question. Answer the question. Why is is? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have submitted your own evidence showing. Yes. He has yes. submitted his own true. evidence showing he has worn a mask to work. And as you know, masks are worn a lot of times by very unscrupulous people. <laughs> Were you not also holding a container that had Molson, Molson Canadian, and Molson Ice written all over it, which you still have in court? Yes. Let it be heard by the court that according to the Global Spec Employee Handbook, alcohol and related beverages are not allowed on the premises. That is a direct violation of human resources. <laughs> On our way by trick-or-treating, did you remove any pennies from your scene's desk? Yes. Yes, you did. Yes, no further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. 